the, the good thing about Kubamba coming together with Rough Waters is we both have a shared vision and that our passion for the lost. And when I say the lost are those who do not have Christ Jesus as their Lord and Savior. But even more specifically is we are passionate to see young people come into the faith. Now for us, we live in Africa and Africa has a population of about 1.3 billion people and 80% of those are below the age of 35. So they form the bulk of the population of Africa. Now we want to see as many young people come into Christ as possible because God loves people. God's heart, heartbeat is for people. And that's why Jesus Christ came uh, to seek and to save the lost. And so we want to see as many young people as possible come into the faith. We definitely uh, want to be at the front line of making sure that every young person has an opportunity to hear the truth, to experience God's love and His redemptive power and transformative power. They are like the most hopeful people that we have. You know, they almost feel like they're invincible. You know, they're like, yeah, we can do this thing. So imagine if we connect these young people, you know, with Christ and they have the right values in their lives. I can only imagine that, you know, this can help us turn around the continent of Africa and make it what it's actually supposed to be as a great continent. And you know, the beautiful thing is, you know, um, when Jesus Christ came, he came to seek and to save the lost. He came for the people who feel like their lives are messed up, like their lives are broken, uh, because he's willing to take up that mess, you know, and make something beautiful out of it, or take these broken lives and make a beautiful masterpiece out of these broken pieces. Um, so uh, when young people are able to see something like that, and then at the same time hear the message of hope, you know, God says, I know the plans I have for you, plans of good and not plans of evil, plans to give you a hope and a future. You know, they can see that, and they know that that's what they want. And you know, that for us was just a confirmation that God's hand is upon us. And you know, what a privilege and an honor to be used of God at such a time as this. And that's why we're excited to, and telling people, hey, this is where God is working, come partner with Him as we seek to see Africa for Jesus, uh, you know, one soul at a time. You could see the hunger is the same, man. The hunger is the same from the young people. For them, they're looking for something to hold on to, you know, something that's bigger than, you know, what they keep seeing around them. You know, yes, life may be hard. Life may be destructive, you know, but then, you come and you plug them in, you know, with a God who loves and a God who cares and He says, I understand what you're going through. And so young people want to glean onto this and we're saying, you know what, let's reach out to these young people. You know, this train has started moving and we can see the lives of young people coming forward and their lives being changed and transformed. So that's why I'm excited about channeling my energies and, you know, together with Rough Waters, I want to channel our energies to the young people because they are responding to the faith. And these African countries are calling us and they're saying, okay, our hashtag for Kubamba is Africa for Jesus. Man, we are ready. <laughs> We're saying, we've seen it in Kenya. These other African countries are calling us. Let's go. Let's go and do this, you know, while the opportunity, while the door has been opened. Yeah. One team is able to engage with about 150 high schools a year. So on average, if we say, you know, we we're engaging with about 500 students per high school, that's about 75,000 students in a year from one team. So if you multiply that 100 times, that would allow us to reach out to 7.5 million young people. 7.5 million young people. So one team can reach out to 150 high schools or 75,000 students in one year. If we had 100 teams, that's 7.5 million young people engaged with the gospel in one year. Man, we'd set Africa on fire for Jesus Christ. Uh, you know, first it's a God-sized vision, uh, but guess what, man? A God-sized vision can only be uh, met by a God-sized provision. And so, uh, you know, we're excited at thinking of a hundred teams. That means Africa uh, evangelized and discipled. A young person hearing the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, and beyond that being transformed and becoming the change that we want to see in society. And they too, uh, you know, saying, you know what? I want someone else to experience what I have experienced. That's good. <laughs> when Rough Waters uh, partnered with us, man, there was an acceleration. Uh, they were a catalyst, you know, to allow us to do more uh, and what God had asked us to do. So you can imagine from doing a hundred schools, you know, and having all these demands and requests for other schools asking us to come, you know, countries asking us to come. And now here we are, we can do 300, three times more. I mean, it's exciting, uh, you know, you can imagine. So it was basically, you know, before we were burning, we were using coal or firewood, and now we're on jet fuel, man. So we want to get to nuclear. When life is over, when life is done, we will leave all this wealth over here. But the one thing I can take with me to heaven are the people who come to the faith. These young people who are coming to the faith. 
and you're watching this and you may not be able to go for the missions like us guys are able to but you can send us it's the same as you it's like you're going by extension you know so as we go out we reach out we're able to see the multitudes come into the faith and you're part of that you're part of that winning team you're part of the god team that's doing this so i want to say you are investing in a worthy cause and later on when we look back when we get to heaven we'll be able to look and be like wow look at the number of young people who came to the faith it's all because of your faithful giving and partnering with Raf Waters. Well, if God is to do something, man, He has to use people. And, you know, as Kubamba and Raf Waters, we thank God for the team uh, that, you know, He has brought together and put together for what He wants to do now. You know, for, 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 for the person who's watching this video, you know, why partner with Raf Waters? It's because the passion that's driving this organization is to see young people coming to the faith young people coming to the place where they're like you know i want to live for something that's bigger than myself i want to live for god you know i want to i want jesus christ to use me as his hands and feet in my generation you are investing in a worthy cause our continent will never be the same again if these young people are invested in and given the right values and the right foundation to be able to live so my challenge for you know the person who's watching the show right now or this interview right now my challenge to you is invest in the lives of the young people invest in the life of the young people because you'll be turning a whole generation around so i am extremely grateful you know to jim and raf waters uh, for allowing us to go back into the mission field and continue to seeing you know droves you know young people giving their lives to christ so Man, I'm really grateful that they have, you know, they've come to work alongside us and to walk alongside us uh, and to do something that we're both passionate about, you know, uh, reaching out to young people. Yeah.